Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to tackle a question raised in the comment section. Uh, the question was that how can we generate a comparison report but only display the differences? So um, here you can see I have two files, file 3 and file 4. And you can see that line 1 is same, line 3 is same. So basically the question was that he wants to display the differences. So only line 2 and line 4 should be shown. So how can we do this? Let's see. Um, to do this, we're going to have to import two modules, diffLib and re for, for regex. And we're going to pass in the path where my files are. So the first file, path plus file 3.txt, and then the second file is path plus file 4.txt. Okay, so we have two variables with the file paths. Now what we want to do is we want to open them up, pass in first file in the read mode, and then use the read lines function so that uh, the ff variable will contain the, cont the contents of the first file in a list format. Same thing with the second file. Open it in the read mode and use the read lines function. So this is pretty standard. After that, uh, we're going to use the diff lib html diff use the uh, make file pass in ff sf and uh, the first file and the second file okay so now we have the diff so the question was that we need to only show the differences so to do that we will go into the html code and try to change it up so the HTML code we're interested in is inside the t-body. So we go inside diff and we uh, slice out the t-body. We use the find function to find the position of the t-body tag. And we will add in the length of the t-body because um, we don't want this t-body tag inside the we just want what's within the t-body tags. We don't want this t-body uh, phrase tag. Um, okay, and then colon diff and find the the ending of the t-body. Okay, so now uh, this should have uh, the substring, which was inside the t-body tags. Now what we want to do is we want to convert it into a list by uh, using the split function, we will split it along the new lines. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, check each line one by one. So for line in t-body list, we will ignore the first and the last ones because the first and the last ones are just um, empty elements. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look for some specific strings like diff add. If diff add not in line, basically uh, if there is a difference, there will be a specific string within the line like diff add. So we'll check for it. If it's not in the string, that means it, there is no difference. And we'll also check for diff change if this is not in the string. We'll then check if diff sub is in the string. If it's not in the string as well, then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the list and we're going to remove the line. So now the list won't have this line anymore. So we're, we have basically removed the line which was not different. Okay, so once this for loop is done, we will have only a list of the differences. Now the question here is uh, the ordering will be quite uh, uh, all over the place because uh, it won't be one, two, three, four. It will 
uh, it might be anything because we don't know which ones are different and which ones are same. So to handle that, we're gonna create a counter n is equal to one, and then for line in t body list. Once again, we're just concerned with the first, and uh, we're not concerned with the first and the last one. And then we're gonna try to find the first number using our rejects expression. We are actually just interested in this phrase id equals code from. After this, we expect there to be some digits, so we'll put slash d asterisk, and then there'll, there should be a dash, and then we expect another digit code end and then this uh, oh wait here there should be another one another digit okay so this is the expression we are looking for inside the line comma line and group one group one basically means that th this digit and we were also interested in this digit, so we're going to try and find out what is group 2. So we'll search. Okay, so now we have uh, the, the number which is supposed to be here, and the number, this number and this number are the same. So we, uh, we just need to find what's here. So we use a group one and we need to find which is here, which is group two. So then we, and then we will uh, save it in number one and number two. After that, we are going to go into the line and we're going to try and replace the um, numbers so that they are correctly ordered. So herein we pass number one and then we will have a underscore here and then string number two okay so yeah I think that's about it wait uh, did I miss anything let me just check. Oh wait, yeah, I did miss uh, part of the expression. It should be like this. And then we should have number two here. Okay, now let me see if I missed anything. Um, all right, underscore and then string number two plus this one and then string number two plus this one okay now it should be fine <clears throat> then we just copy this we want to keep this the same except we want to now change the number two with the value n and we will only change it one time so comma one and then we're going to do the same So that uh, instead of this, uh, instead of line, it's going to be t-body list because we want to override the list element. And then here, instead of from, it's going to be two. And uh, yep, there you go. I don't think there should be any problems now. Basically, we're trying to take two phrases from the code. Uh, so we're going to, and those two phrases have a bunch of numbers in it. And we'll just change those numbers so that we'll change those numbers so that the ordering is correct. And once that's done, we're going to just increment this so that it will loop through all the elements. Once it's done, we are going to take the T body and we'll just uh, join it back along the new line. Alright, after this, uh, we're going to split the difference. Diff split is equal to diff 
split along the T body tag. After we split along the T body tag, uh, what happens here is the first uh, the, the, it'll, this diff split now has a list of two elements. The first element contains the original T body and uh, the last part contains the rest of uh, the second element contains the rest of the code. So the first element contains the original T body. We don't want the original T body. We want to replace that original T body with this T body, right? So what we can do is we create another uh, diff split. We take the first element which contains the original T body and we split it again along the starting T body tag. And then uh, we will just add it all together. So now this one won't have the original T body. And then we're going to add it to the T body we modified. We're going to now add the ending T body tag and finally the last part of the code. Now our diff is complete. We're going to now create the file with open path plus let's call the, the file diff HTML. Uh, we use the write mode as f f dot write and we just pass in the diff. Save it, run it, should work. Unless there's some syntax errors. Oh, okay, it's done I think. Let's see. Okay, there you go. You see, now only the differences are being shown. If you remember, uh, in the files, there were four lines, but four lines are not being shown. Only the uh, lines which are different are being shown, and you can also see one and two. The ordering is correct, which is great. So, uh, wait, where did the code? Okay, so that's the code. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any more questions, please um, just comment below. I'll try to make a video on it as well. And uh, uh, please like uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you again.